Eight years. Of recovery. Yes. Every day, every breath, every everything, I thought of nothing else other than what can I do and what's in the way of me being able to do what I want to do next and rebuilding, using what I had in the right hemisphere to rebuild the circuits. I knew I had language. I knew I could speak. I knew I had vocabulary. I knew I had ideas. I knew somewhere in there I had numbers. It took eight, it took four years for me to even understand what's a one. I mean, wow. Wow. I did not die that day. I did not die that day. And so I have all the possibility of what will be. And it was wide open. I wasn't going to be a neuroscientist again because that left hemisphere. I never held myself to returning to whom I had been before the stroke. That girl died that day as far as I was concerned. But the phenomenon was that as I'm a gross anatomist, so I taught cadaver lab. And when you are teaching, you have a whole body there and you're teaching medical students about what's inside of there. You get your hands in there and you say, I want you to slip in behind the stomach and I want you to slip this hand in here and I want you to know the relationship between the stomach and the duodenum and the liver and and the splenic nerve and the kidney. I want you to feel it because I want you to have a three-dimensional image of that inside of your mind so that you can use that information. Very right-brained. So when we learn, we learn facts and details with the left brain, but we learn context and big picture with the right brain. 